What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, the Humble Savage. Today is the second ride in a series of group rides that we've done on the East Coast. First ride was in Jersey. This ride was down in Whiteclay, Delaware, one of our favorite spots. Um, today, we are rocking 007s, dropped on the lower setting. I love this setting and setup. It's stable as hell, but it does take a certain finesse to be able to ride it through the trails. As you guys can see, I'm sharing my tune. People have been asking, and I figure, you know what? As a person in the community and trying to give back as much as I can, you know what? It's time for me to give up this tune. So that's the tune I'm running today on the Drop 007s. Uh, White Clay, Delaware. Honestly, this setup is not the most ideal for riding at this place. This setup, I would say, is more flat ground and very low elevation change due to it being dropped. Um, unless you're running it on, um, what do they call it, ice blocks or something like that, where you have more up and down settings, then, you know, you can drop just a quarter of an inch. But I'm literally on the 007s. The two holes that are in it, I'm on the lowest one, you know. Uh, float life, cold blocks, you know, we don't have that adjustable setting, so that's what we have. So every time I get on this setup, as you can see here, I'm kind of just chilling and cruising, the person in front of me is taking off. I take it easy in the beginning and get myself acclimated to the height, going over things, you know, where the nose is at. There's a couple areas in here, like you can feel where the tail is at. And sometimes the most I'll change in my tune is my brakes because you have minimal tail clearance. And I tell everybody when I'm riding with them and I rock this setup, I'm like, yo, if you're in front of me and I'm right behind you, don't ever stop abruptly if you can, if you can help it. Because I have no brakes. I like to run, as you can see, negative brakes as is. So, yeah, I have no brakes, having no tail clearance. And it's one of those builds that's just a ripper build. Stuff like this, climbing uphill, those clearance issues that's where you know that's where it lags so anytime where it's a slow uphill and people come to a stop and I have to continue it's almost impossible for me to continue because as we know flow likes to dip in the initial onset of you riding and then rise up and that dip will dig your nose in every time so today's ride is going to just be a raw ride you're pretty much going to I mean this video is going to be you know, a uh, copyright nightmare because I'm just going to have my music going. You're going to hear the tunes that I listen to. I got my one wheel uh, mix playing and we're just ripping. So that's kind of the census of the day. Yeah, of course, you can just take and, the road. Uh, yeah. But I like to come here, on the trail and chill around. Up. And then yeah. you'll see, you pick up the pace, you get to ride. I will also mention on this day, we are kind of getting shown around. Um, guy you see speaking there he actually set up some segments out here there's an enduro and you can run it around here so he kind of just like that's what this ride is him actually just showing us through those segments so this is a more chill ride later on in this day we take a more intense ride i didn't rock my camera for that because i ran out of batteries but um it was just a, a ripping ride but we rip in this video too so Definitely more than that. There's uh, one rider coming up. He'll see you. Thank you. 
four minutes and six Woo! seconds. Okay, that's burn. Right the leg four actually ends right here going backwards. Uh, okay. <laughs> Get it. Oh, you had it. We should. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to your first installment of Saturday Morning One Wheel. Me and the homies, we're trying to bring something tight for you. Something binge-worthy every Saturday morning. So while you're getting ready to go ride those trails, you got something kicking in the background. Welcome to Smo, baby. Smo, Saturday Morning One Wheel. So when you're finished watching this, go on over, check out the homie Shred Diaries, Max Rose. You know him. He just dropped the most delicious burger shred it you ever did see okay so keep a look out y'all smo coming to you saturday every saturday we're trying to bring something to you this is the first installment of them we might skip a saturday or two just getting on the roll but welcome we to smo people to catch up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, we might as well wait. Cause Santiago is gonna be. Where is he right there? Make a hard right. There's gonna be like three more behind us a little ways back.
Huh? However else is left. Marty. I can't count what's behind it. But the ball ring should be a ten if you're one for that. You're wondering what's the attraction with the round and show on the man thing. Big man of a London boy. Alright, so um Remember back when we made the hard left and started going up the hill? We came down a hill, we made a hard left and started going up the hill? We were on this trail. So if you had said, you know what, I don't wanna I don't wanna do I don't wanna do trail number two. Right? I wanna go straight to three. You could have just kept coming straight, you wind around a little bit and you'll show up right here. So if you're like ever wanting to come out here and you're like, I'm done with two. I want to go straight to three or four, or maybe even four. The way you come is you come over here and then this, three starts on this bridge and we make a hard left. And we just wind our way all the way up the hill and when we exit the trees, we're done with the segment. Let's say you don't want to do three. If you make a right at the end of the bridge, that takes you over four. Right, so this is how like in the future, if anyone's like coming in and like I just want to do a couple segments and really focus on something, you can cut around. Cool? Uh, it is a hard left at the end of the bridge. the bridge. I, uh, I, try, I usually try and drift my way through it. Uh, whatever close you vote. What?
Oh, that's smoke. I tried to make each segment like as close to a mile as What are those little plants? Blowing off their seeds. I don't have those in Texas. Uh, I think they're <laughs> it's the like milk something or others. Mm. Milkweed? Maybe. We got milkweed. That's My wife was here, she would. <laughs> like summer again. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, a perfect day. Big ass oh, yeah. fire going over there. That's what I think. Gallon? Okay. Are you talking underground truck? No, not Well, the edge got so tall, I ran into it with the side of my board. I couldn't even get out. If this is the part of the segment, I see this being the most skipped segment. Oh, my God. 
Dope little intersection right there. I drop down to the bridge. Just gotta save it in order to stay out the water. Yeah.
Didn't think my nose was gonna make it up on that one. I don't know if he stopped there or not. I turned around because he said multiple log features. I thought this might have been it, but maybe not. He's gone. I think Rich kept going. That was ill. And for and for somebody who and for somebody who don't do log rides. <laughs> That was like a roller coaster of a log ride. That was cool. The left at the split. Back here. Should probably pause here because we hit a couple splits. Oh, my bad. <laughs> then we should probably pause here because we could have hit a couple splits. Let people catch up. In case they don't know which way to go. Yeah. Uh, that's just like a bundle of pack on.